I rarely draw or paint without music or the radio on. It's a little like Len Gold playing piano with a vacuum on. It's not so much about entertainment or closely listening to the audio content. It's more about creating external perturbation that passively occupies my external senses so that I can focus on the internal ones. Certainly, I source inspiration from the external world, but once I've internalized and appropriated it, the traffic outside in must be closed so that the traffic inside out, onto paper and canvas, can circulate with ease. In this sense, the voices blabbering on the radio create a constant white voice shield that eliminates any chances for my focus to wander out. And if the radio host starts enunciating a little too clearly, and my attention starts drifting externally, I'd put on a foreign radio, Finnish or Swedish, to eliminate all chances of comprehension. And now that I've moved into a place where the window's open, I'd also invite the sound of traffic and chatter in while I toy around with brushes and markers. San Francisco has been a rain receptacle for the past two weeks, but spring has finally settled in. People are once again scattered on the beach, taking in the sunshine. Sun puddles have reappeared on the ground, casting shifting geometric shapes on our walls and hardwood floors. Naked trees are starting to burgeon in the parks. It won't be long before they bloom again. I suppose a rain showers and thunderstorms are winter's way to make its grand exit. Before my hands can stay warm without heating, you'll find me nesting in the sun puddles scattered throughout the house, adjusting my position as they move along the day. I learned that from napping cats. <laughs>